Welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video, we will learn about defibrillators. This will be a three part video, which will make you understand what is the defibrillator, classification of defibrillators, application of defibrillators, and we will also try to cover pacing modes in defibrillators in a simplified manner. Let's know about classification of defibrillators. Professor Frank Pantridge is remembered as the cardiologist who invented the portable defibrillator, a device that has helped save millions of lives over the past 50 years. The defibrillator can be classed as a manual defibrillator, automated defibrillators, implant defibrillators and fibrillators. Let's begin with manual defibrillation. Manual external defibrillators require the expertise of a healthcare professional. They are used in conjunction with an electrocardiogram, which can be separate or built in. A healthcare provider first diagnoses the cardiac rhythm and then manually determines the voltage and timing for the electrical shock. These, uni these units are primarily found in hospitals and on some ambulances. During transthoracic defibrillation, the energy stored in the capacitor is then delivered at a relatively rapid rate to the chest of the subject. For effective defibrillation, it is advantageous to adopt some shaping of the discharge current pulse. The simplest arrangement involves the discharge of capacitor energy through the patient's own resistance. The next type of defibrillator is AED which is also known as Automatic External Defibrillator. Automated external defibrillators are designed for use by untrained or briefly trained laypersons. AEDs contain technology for analysis of heart rhythms. As a result, it does not require a trained health provider to determine whether or not a rhythm is shockable. By making these units publicly available, AEDs have improved outcomes for sudden out-of-hospital cardiac arrests. AEDs can be fully automatic or semi-automatic. A semi-automatic AED automatically diagnoses heart rhythms and determines if a shock is necessary. If a shock is advised, the user must then push a button to administer the shock. A fully automated AED automatically diagnoses the heart rhythm and advises the user to stand back while the shock is automatically given. Some types of AEDs come with advanced features, such as a manual override or an ECG display. Let's know about implantable defibrillators. Implantable cardioverter defibrillators are also known as Automatic Internal Cardiac Defibrillators, or AICDs. These devices are implants, similar to pacemakers, and many can also perform the pacemaking function. They constantly monitor the patient's heart rhythm and automatically administer shocks for various life-threatening arrhythmias, according to the device's programming. Many modern devices can distinguish between ventricular fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia and more benign arrhythmias like superventricular tachycardia and atrial fibrillation. Some devices may attempt overdrive pacing prior to synchronized cardioversion. When the life-threatening arrhythmia is ventricular fibrillation, the device is programmed to proceed immediately to an unsynchronized shock. There are wearable cardioverter defibrillators. A wearable cardioverter defibrillator is a portable external defibrillator that can be worn by at-risk patients. The unit monitors the patient 24 hours a day and can automatically deliver a biphasic shock if VF or VT is detected. This device is mainly indicated in patients who are not immediate candidates for ICDs. There is also one more internal defibrillation technique, which is known as internal defibrillator. This is often used to defibrillate the heart during or after cardiac surgery, 
such as a heart bypass. The electrodes consist of round metal plates that come in direct contact with the myocardium. The next type of defibrillator, which is also known as fibrillators. Electric or electronic devices designed to induce fibrillation of the heart. These devices include cardiac and or intracardiac electrodes and a power unit that can deliver a variable electric output of several volts, typically up to 12 volts at low frequencies, 50, 60, 85 hertz. They may be line or battery operated. Fibrillators are used for controlled fibrillation of the heart during open heart surgery or in electrophysiology studies to test the effectiveness of therapy by intentionally inducing fibrillation in patients who normally have cardiac arrhythmias. This was the classifications of defibrillators video. In the next video, we will cover the application of defibrillators, which includes synchronized defibrillation, asynchronous defibrillation, and external pacing maker. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. Catch you guys in the next video.